Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mayur Zadhav. Today guys, it's going to be an After Effects tutorial. So I'm gonna show you how to create this visual effect. So basically you can create this effect on anything, not just a car. I'm gonna show you the step by step process of creating this effect. So then you can get more creative and apply this effect onto any object you want. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, here we are in Adobe After Effects. So guys, if you are beginner, then uh, don't you worry. I will explain from the very basic steps. So right click here and select import. Then choose the video file you want. You can see I have already imported a short clip. Then drag this clip to this icon and create a new composition. And here we have our video. In this case, I'm taking a short video of a car. And you can see I am moving camera from left to right so that the perspective of the car is changing continuously. So first of all, we will need to track the camera. And for that, go here. It says camera track and hit that button. Then it will start tracking our camera movements. It will take some time depending upon the processor and GPU of your PC. If you want to know the specifications of my PC, then I have a video on that too. You can check the link in the description. So after tracking completed, you will see these small track points all over. Three points will together make a single plane. So you will have to decide which plane is suitable for your subject. For example, in this case, I have to apply lights on side and in front of my car. So I'm going to select this plane, which is in the same perspective with the side of the car. Then right click onto it and create solid and camera. Then search for the plane, which has the same orientation as front of the car like this and do the same. Then go back to the first plane and resize it like this. Select a corner of the plane and with holding shift, drag this plane to a size until it covers all the portion of a surface of one side. You can set the orientation from here. So set the orientation so that the plane is perpendicular to the ground like this. Then you can see our plane has been perfectly tracked. So and let me increase the scale a bit so that it will cover the whole side. Once done, then you can hide this plane by clicking on this I button. Then do the same for another plane. Same process. So now we have our both planes perfectly tracked. Then right click and select new solid. Hit OK. Then drag this solid layer above our first plane like this. Then make it 3D by clicking here. Then go to effects and preset and search for the effect called Saber. It's an after effect external plugin. So you will have to download from the link given in the description. It's absolutely free. You can download it from there and install it. Then you will have your plugin appearing here. So drag and drop this Saber effect onto our solid layer like this. Then all you have to do is go to our first plane and expand its panel then select transform and hit ctrl plus c on your keyboard to copy all the coordinates then go back to the solid layer and hit ctrl plus v to paste it all here in another layer so we have here our saber layer in same position as our first plane so now go to the solid layer again and choose the blending mode to screen to eliminate all the blacks oops let's hide this plane first yes like this now you will see our saber light has been perfectly tracked all along the side of the car. Now select the pen tool and draw a mask in whatever shape you want. Like this. I am going to do it very roughly. But you can take your time to draw a more accurate and precise mask. Then uh, all you have to do is go in here then customize core 
and change core type from saber to layer mask you have your mask lit with the saber lights so you see it's perfectly tracked according to the camera movement and not just this saber effect but you can track whatever file you will drop here above this plane like logo or text or anything you can track following the same stack so basically you got the idea of camera tracking then do the same process for another plane this time to the front of the car now here you can see our mask is moving slightly off a target so for that go to the solid layer mask mask path and hit the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe then adjust the mask and move playhead and then again readjust the mask it's done and to create animation like this you all you have to do is go to the solid saber layer expand until you see effects panel you can play here with the settings to create amazing effects you can also change the glow intensity color etc then go to the saber and then customize score here you will see start offset and end offset so activate those two keyframes and set start offset to 100 then move playhead ahead and then set it back to zero so that's it you have your animation ready and you can get more creative with these settings and using your way of creativity so that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed the video if you do then do comment share like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we will meet in the next video thank you so much